Shadow Star here on Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID, and welcome to part 11 for my Let's Play series for Crash Bandicoot 2 from the Insane Trilogy. And in this video, I'm going to be finishing off the rest of the. M m let's call them main levels for the fourth warp room before moving on to the boss battle. And to start things off in this video, I am going to be doing the Cold Hard Crash level. And fingers crossed, the le fingers crossed that this level does not cause me too much rage, because the ice levels, ice-based levels in this have not been kind to me. Again, all the boxes here. Of course, if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see, hit feel free to hit the thumbs up icon down below, along with leaving a comment. I always look forward to hearing what everybody thinks of the current video. Also, if you want to be notified for future content, hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell to receive notifications for when new videos have been released onto the channel. And if you missed any other videos and you want from my Let's Play series and you want to check them out, I will leave the playlist links in the video description down below. And if you're a return subscriber, you truly are an awesome individual, and I look forward to hearing what you think of the current video. Here we go. Bonus level already. Let's get to it. Yeah, I want to get the Wampa Fruit to increase my life, my lives in this. Okay, so that takes care of those TNT boxes. I go over a hundred anyway, so why not? At least I got that one extra life. Hmm. That's handy. Yeah, play better to play it safe with those icicles. Oh no, no, not another one of those porcupines. Never quite figure out what what that actually triggers. Hmm. Must be those metal boxes there. And here we are at the death root platform for this level. I can already tell this is going to be a doozy. Yep, right off the bat. <laughs> And how the heck do I move that up here? Oh god, that pun nearly had me sing karaoke. Oh Jesus. Oh boy, starting already. <laughs> but that was... I'll call it my fault anyway. That's what I wanted to trigger for that pillar. Play it safe. Get the boxes! That again, that was my fault. Mistimed that. Yep, this is definitely going to be a doozy. Again, I wanted to trigger that pillar, just, you know, as a safety precaution. Okay, so I got the Wampa Fruit. Aha, you will not uh, you will not get me again. Haha. -ha. Excuse me. 
Yep, again, play it safe with the icicles. Oh, that is just evil. Oh, I missed time that jump badly. <laughs> oh, I got a key with that one. Yep, several deaths later. Believe it or not, it was right in the same spot with that second porcupine. I, I definitely predicted it. This was definitely a doozy. <coughs> Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. See how well the invulnerability actually helps me. So far, so good. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing that is because, uh, that metal switch box that I just triggered actually opens up, uh, actually makes that box appear. It's okay, I got one more Aku Aku mask. Now let's see if the again back to the other side will actually be easy. Well, it's definitely easier so far. I want to rage right now, but thankfully I got the checkpoint box. But my gut instincts tell me I've missed a bunch of boxes somewhere, but honestly, after what I went through with the death route platform, I just want to complete the level. I'll come back to it at another point. Eat. So glad I did not get caught in that explosion. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump around that porcupine. <sighs> really? Yeah, I just want to complete the level right now. I honestly don't care. I got the... Oh, oh I'm so glad I didn't get squished. I'm so... I'm just glad I got the both the crystal and the death root clear gem. Okay, so no... No extra boxes hidden up high. Oh... That's not... That's not good. So I missed 39 boxes altogether. Okay, so from what you saw, I went back into the level and got both the clear gems. The reason for that being is that um, after getting the single box, which which requires you traveling all the way to the end of the death route platform, triggering, you know, this 
metal switch with the exclamation mark on it. It turns out the death route platform. Uh, and that's just gonna be a moment for this level. So, again, so turn, turns out the death route platform in Cold Heart Crash can actually be used twice to travel to the entry point to where you first started that route. So after you got that single box, which appears after triggering the metal exclamation switch mark box, if that makes sense, you can actually travel back that down there. And at point th 3 minutes 18 seconds, feel free to correct me down in the comment section below, turns out traveling I've missed all the boxes going along that route. You've got to be kidding me. And again, I do want to apologize if, I'm, if I hesitate or stutter with any of my sentences. Being an autistic individual, talk is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. Really? That's got to be the shortest route ever. Bye bye, monkey. Let's try this again. Do not mistake my silence for... Do not mistake my silence spots for... Relaxation moments. I am currently raging in my head with lots of fuses being blown. Yeah, so if anybody remembers, back in the Cold Heart Crash level... Uh, feel free to correct me with the timing on this, because my memory's a bit foggy, but at 3 minutes 18 seconds where I actually take the death row platform for the first time, had I gone carried onwards from there, that's where all the boxes were that I missed. And if you want to do both the death row platform clear gem and the normal and the normal getting all the boxes clear gem it turns out that all you need to do is travel back to the start of the death route death route to get onto the death route platform and go back down to where you first started first started the route if that makes sense ah the clear gem for the death for the green gem route in ruination. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, the reason why I did that, or well, thankfully I don't have to go back through that death route again, is because I want to double check whether I missed any boxes along this route. And as you, if anybody just missed it, there are no boxes along the death route, just the clear gym to which I go. All right, before continuing onwards, it's time for the bonus level. Oh boy, this is going to be a doozy. Okay, so now I can get up there, but... Oh boy, can I get back up there? No, I cannot. I can't even... Slam the boxes. Can I jump? No, I can't. Well, I'm gonna have to try this bonus level again. I did that one on purpose. 
turns out the way it's supposed to do it is like so. You jump onto these two right here, and then you slam like so. Come on. Sorry, I just need to click my neck right now. Yeah, don't bother touching the TNT boxes there, otherwise you are never going to get around those. Or around that pillar of metal boxes. Because what you need to do now, after, you know, dealing with that first the first pillar, you jump on, and then you jump onto those TNT boxes, jump to the top here, and then you slam down. Come on. You slam down. So. Okay, so this next bit is a tad tricky. Just take your time. If you can, spin the top two boxes, otherwise... The top two bouncy boxes, otherwise it's going to be a little bit tricky when you're constantly going... Da -da 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 -da, if that makes sense. Only 23 more boxes to count. I know it's called Coco, but... We'll, we'll get moving in a second. I don't know why I just jumped back onto the bonus platform. Take that, stupid monkey. Okay, you gotta move. Now I'm gonna play it safe. There you go now. By the skin of my teeth. Ooh, an extra life. I'll take that. So as you can, as you can see, we've got one of the clear gems. Gonna be aiming for the triple whammy. And by that, I mean I collect the crystal, one of the or the clear gem, and the second the second clear gem or the color gem. And in this case, it's gonna be the second clear gem. If I want to get the ball boxes clear gem, I'm going to need to get that. Avoid the TNT box explosion. So I got so I'm two down, one to go. Now for a long wait for that platform to come back around. These types of platforms I really don't like because you're constantly tr moving to keep up with them and one, ro one wrong move and you lose a life and you have to start again. Oh, I hope I did it. Playing the waiting game again. <laughs> Slowest platform service ever. And I missed the jump. <laughs> oh, how much of a fool am I? A very big fool. Oh, I got, I got it.
Come on! Hey, it got me an extra life. 100 Wumpa Fruit. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, do not mistake my silence for non-rage. I am raging, alright. But I just do not wish to... Say the words that I'm raging. Oh, I knew... I knew the... Knew somewhere at the start of the level was going to be an omen for how this was going to go. Very, very badly. Oh boy. Yes! 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 Don't have to do all that again. There's the end. Gaining my composure. And there it is. The triple whammy. Here we are, back in the warp room. So that is ruination complete. With the crystal, the getting all boxes clear gem, and the death root clear gem. Boom shakalaka. Oh yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, with the cutscenes, it's crash only. Nothing I can do. Are you done talking? I want to go and do some levels, thank you. Yeah, I'm switching back to Crash now because the boss level is Crash only, unfortunately. So you can see that. That is the doorway to boss number four, Dr. Engine. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, after the... Uh... <sighs> After the torture I went through with Cold Heart Crash and Ruination, I'm going to be ending this episode here. Do hope you all enjoyed this video. So when I come back, I'm going to be starting things off with boss number four, known as Dr. Engine. Stay safe out there, take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.